Tonight on It's the Law, we're talking about an issue that many people unfortunately deal with around the country, divorce. How to Here to break down Georgia's divorce laws is our legal expert, Attorney Jay Davis. Jay, as always, thank you so much for being here. You Thanks, just got Sandra. off vacation. I just I got did. off vacation. We're, we're in that post-vacation depression, but okay. <laughs> well, this is, you know, divorce is a big issue around the country. Lots of people have to go through it. Tell me, what are the key differences between Georgia's divorce laws and those of other states? Well, almost every state is different on divorce, some difference, but most people think about community property, 50-50, things just getting divided equally as you depart. Georgia's not that way. Many other states are not. We have equitable distribution, and that means what's fair. It means taking a look at where, how things came into the marriage, uh, what happened during the marriage, where one, what one person did versus the other person and what's in title, which means you need a good lawyer to try to do one. So, so when dividing up the property, it's not necessarily what's equal, but what's what's fair. It's is what's that right? fair. That's okay. Right. Now, what are the appropriate grounds to file for a divorce? There's about, there's 13 grounds in Georgia for divorce. The one most common when you're just trying to get out is irreconcilable differences uh, or the marriage being irretrievably broken. Um, that's common on no-fault divorces. That's the most inexpensive way. If two are those what you agree. normally would call like a quickie divorce? or That could be on a quickie divorce. Okay. A no-fault would be like, a, we all agree on what's going on. We just want to get out of it and move on. Um, a full divorce is going to go after different property and argument over who gets the kids and argument over who gets the dog or who gets the property, money, and everything else. Okay. And those grounds can go from um, things that happen at the beginning of the marriage, like being too close related or impotence um, or the woman being pregnant without the husband knowing it. Okay, so sometimes it's, in, you know, sometimes it's e relatively easy to get divorced, but what happens when one of the parties isn't cooperating? What happens then? Well, the process is you have to first file a divorce. Um, if, it's, if it's an agreeable divorce, you file everything at the same time, a settlement agreement, everything, it gets filed, it has to be put on a judge's desk, wait 30 days, and then it's signed and you're done. When one person's not wanting to do that, you have to file, get the other person served, they have 30 days to respond, then they respond, and then you get put on a calendar, you get a calendar for temporaries. Who gets what while we're waiting to see what happens? So that's going to be what happens normally within uh, 30 or 45 days after you file a divorce. And I learned, you know, I learned something, something interesting here. In a civil suit, it's the plaintiff and the defendant, but in a divorce, it's the person who files as the petitioner and the person who is being filed against basically is the respondent. So that's general term. Learn something new every day. I didn't know that. Now, when children are involved, that's kind of when things get a little bit hairy, can get, can get ugly, definitely, when children are involved. Does Georgia typically ha favor the father or the mother when it comes to custody? That's going to that's gonna vary from county to county as far as what a judge will do because it's a judge, not a jury, that's going to make that decision. So you got to kind of know what judge you're with. But the law is actually um, favors neither party. The law says they should both be treated equally. In reality, sometimes that's not the case. Yeah, I mean, there are states around the country that I've heard, you know, will either favor the mother. A lot of a lot, a lot of states do favor the mother in custody cases. So, you know, I didn't know that Georgia actually, you know, it's kind of well, Georgia, you might get a, you take. might get a, a judge from a little what we call the older school who thinks the woman should definitely be the one with the child, or you might get a, a judge that's a male himself and gone through. Mm -hmm. um, a custody battle and, and has a, lean, a tendency to lean towards the, the father. Okay. So it could be either way as well, far as the judge. It all depends and definitely this is you know such a huge issue. It happens to a lot of people. Hopefully you know people can work it out and not have to go through all that. But uh, The cheapest divorce is a no, is a uncontested. Absolutely. Those are inexpensive. The other ones can get, get quite, quite all right, expensive. Jay, well thank you for the info. Thanks for coming in again. We appreciate sure, it. And hey, if you've got a legal question, please send us an email. We want to answer it for you. Send it to itsthelaw at 41nbc.com.